100% financing. That means no money down, buyers. Yeah, no money down at all. Again, save you thousands of dollars up front, especially for those home buyers that are you know, a little short on funds or really just want to maybe save some money and maybe put, put that money into making repairs or renovations on the home. Mm -hmm. So again, really good way to help them get in for you know, very, as, much, as little out of pocket as possible. Hello everyone, Pam Dubois, Jim Real Estate TV. Jordan Jones, Mortgage Loan Officer, Fulton Bank. Donnell Spivey, Broker Owner of Exit Spivey Professional Realty. And today we are actually going to do another episode for you guys on talking about lending and what's available out there for first time home buyers so we can help you in the lending area right now. So Jordan, please tell us what you currently have going on with your uh, for first time home buyers. Yeah, so at Fulton Bank, we have a lot of different products that are specifically tailored towards first time home buyers. Uh, one of our mo most popular products right now is called our Fulton Community Combo. It is 100% financing with no PMI or mortgage insurance. A uh, really great way to offer home buyers a way to get into homes for very little out of pocket mm -hmm. while also saving them plenty of money on their uh, mo monthly payment by not having the PMI or mortgage insurance. 100% financing. That means no money down, buyers. Yeah. No money down. No three percent. No three and a half percent. No money down. Yeah. No money down at all. Again, save you thousands of dollars up front, especially for those home buyers that are you know a little short on funds or really just want to maybe save some money and maybe put put that money into making repairs or renovations on the home. Mm -hmm. So again, really good way to help them get in for you know very as much as little out of pocket as possible. With sellers not giving sellers mm -hmm. contribution. This is a tremendous help to a home buyer that they don't have to put a down payment. Yeah, and kind of alleviates the need to maybe ask for that seller assistance because if they don't need to make a three and a three and a half percent down payment, yeah. they can use their funds directly towards the closing costs instead and then maybe make their offer a little bit uh, stronger to the seller. Excellent. That's yeah. great. So is there a credit score requirement for this? Yeah, so we will go as low as 620 okay. on a conventional loan. I will say that typically we want to see scores above 700, but okay. we will go as low as 620 as long as it is uh, approved. It's okay. Yeah, as long as it needs to go through our automated underwriting system. Uh, but again, I've seen people as low as 660 to 680 get approved. You have a, a lot of other programs too, not necessarily first time home buyers. Can you just touch on some of those? You got the doctor program. Touch on some of those uh, a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah, so uh, one of our more, uh, again, not for first, necessarily for first time home buyers, but one of our more popular programs is called our medical professional loan. This is for any physicians, dentists, veterinarians, or uh, pharmacists. Yeah. Uh, you can be a resident or acting uh, uh, doctor, and we offer 100% financing up to one and a half million dollars. Wow. Very, very rare. Uh, again, there are, other lenders that do medical professional loans, yeah. but we're one of the only lenders that will do 100% financing up to one and a half million. Wow. One and a half million. Pam, you may qualify. For yeah, oh, I'm not a, not a doctor. You're not no, a first time home buyer. Yeah, I'm not any of those things, so I'm sorry. <laughs> that's that's hey. a great program. It yeah. Is a great program. That, that is incredible, wow. That's the one thing I like about Jordan and Fulton Mortgage yeah. is the fact that they have a array of different programs that can help a lot of different buyers. Yeah. You know, I heard something recently, and, and, and help me about this, that, um, the 1099 employees, basically, mm -hmm. you just need one year. Is that correct? Sometimes. Okay, sometimes. Right? Yeah. yeah. If, if the income is strong, and a lot of times credit will play a factor as well. Okay. But sometimes if we, we run them through the system, it'll say only one, 12 months is needed or one year is needed. However, then sometimes it also depends, you know, what are the assets look like, what mm -hmm. is the income actually, is the debt to income ratio a little bit lower. So there's a lot of factors that go into it. But yes, in some situations we can do as little as one year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's something that's new also. Yeah. yeah. So I know they are actually mm -hmm. making um they're not as strict as they mm -hmm. used to be with uh with loans right now. They're trying to be more lenient. Trying to be a little bit more flexible yeah. in, in certain areas for sure, because again, the market right now is just tough. Yeah, you know, yeah. with rates going up, but very low inventory, uh, just not a lot of homes for sale, um, and construction slowing down as prices go up. I think we've seen regulators and, and the guidelines be a little more flexible, accepting a little higher debt mm -hmm. um, and, and things like that. Maybe not as much asset, so they, they are trying to be a little bit more flexible to help homeowners in such a, a hard time and a hard market. Okay. Not to put you on the spot here, but um, can you shed some light on the 
people that have the higher credit score gets to pay the higher interest rate. If you have a lower credit score, you get the lower interest rate. Have you heard of that? Yeah, I do. And that is 100% not the case. Okay. So what Fannie and Freddie have done, and it's on the conventional loan side, yeah. is that they are just penalizing those with lower credit less. Okay. So what we do is when we look at far as credit and down payment, there are pricing adjustments that we make to whatever the current market rate is. Okay. So it used to be, you know, for example, someone with a 620 credit score would get penalized very heavily right. on a conventional loan and their rate would skyrocket. Right. They are just penalizing the lower credit score less. Okay. So, All right. so that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. so the, so Trust me, if you have top tier credit, you have good credit, you are still getting the best rate possible and you are not paying a higher interest rate than someone that has lower credit than you. Okay. Again, okay. It's, it's, it's just a matter of, again, you know, it's saying, well, you're just not gonna have as high of a rate mm -hmm. if you have bad credit. So okay. we're gonna ease up on that to make uh, home ownership a little bit more affordable for those that maybe have credit in the 600s. Okay. But we're still gonna, again, give you know, hot, better rates and more preferential rates to those that have better credit. So yeah, okay. so I've seen a lot of stuff in the news. Yeah, I know a lot of right. stuff on social media. And again, that is not the case. You are not gonna have a, a worse rate than someone mm -hmm. that has worse credit than you. Got it. Okay, thanks so, for clarifying that. Yeah. Yeah. So talk a little bit about, I know you have a lot of down payment assistance, assistance mm -hmm. program in-house and outside of house. Can you share with what down payment assistance Fulton Bank offers? Yeah, so we work with a lot of different programs and a lot of, sometimes they're county-based or state-based or federal-based and in-house. Mm -hmm. One of the ones that we have right now, which will probably last for another month or two, is called the, Fed, <laughs> it's called the Federal Home Loan Bank. Okay. It is a $5,000 grant. That means you got only a month to buy. Yeah, <laughs> you exactly. gotta buy now. You gotta be quick. Uh, it's a $5,000 grant that's okay. forgivable as long as you live in the home for five years. Okay. So it's, again, it's based on household size and income limits. Mm -hmm. But again, $5,000 that we offer to first time home buyers. We have our CCAP or closing cost assistance program that's anywhere from 1,000 to 2,500. Okay. That's, that can be based on household income and where the home is located. Mm -hmm. We also work with a lot of county programs, okay. Baltimore County, Baltimore City, Howard County. And then again, we have the state of, the state of Maryland as well. Mm -hmm. The Maryland Mortgage Program, which is also another great program that yeah. will offer up to 5% of the loan amount for down payment and closing costs. So 5% yeah. covers a three, three or three and a half percent down payment. Yeah. Plus you get some for your closing costs as well. Yeah. So a lot of times, a lot of your uh, expenses are being paid for. You might only need, you know, a, a couple thousand dollars to essentially yeah. buy the home. Yeah. Wow. wow. That's incredible. Yeah. 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 I mean, there's money out there. A lot of people just don't understand that, you know, there are funds out there to help you purchase a home. Yeah. You just got to talk to the right lender or the right real estate agent. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. Nice connections. There you go. Jordan has been working nice. together for a long time. He's had many of my buyers get into homes using those down payment assistance programs. That's many of them. Wow. That's incredible. That's incredible. Great information, you guys. Now you know, hey, if you don't have money, Reach out to Jordan. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> this is the team that'll do it for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, yeah. a lot of a lot of uh, agents they just send their buyers to uh, their lender, as they call it, not mm -hmm. resourcing down payment assistance program or a lender that has those programs. And I, Jordan's like a go-to. Yeah, yeah. First time home buyer. So I have a question, a really good question. Mm -hmm. So first time home buyer, um, basically, they have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Um, they have the income, but do they still qualify for these first time home buyer programs if they have a lot of money? Yeah. So, I mean, as far as our mortgage products are concerned, mm -hmm. um, some of them are income restricted. Mm -hmm. uh, some aren't. It just really all depends. And a lot of times the income limit can vary. The majority of them don't have asset tests. You know, you, if you have okay. money saved, okay. the state of Maryland does, you can't have more than 20% down, okay. things like that. So it will vary program to program, but yeah, some of them are, you know, tailored towards individuals that, that make less money. Not yeah. all of them, uh, but it can, it, yeah, it, it just, every program is kind of different. Mm. I want to share something with the listening audience and you guys. Mm -hmm. Jordan and I closed on a deal last month, mm -hmm. last month, and the buyer got $32,000 in down payment assistance. Wow. $32,000. And you know, you don't need $32,000 to buy no. a house. The house was $130,000. Mm -hmm. But she used the money to buy down the balance on the mortgage. Yep. So she ended up wow. with a $30,000 down payment off of pretty, pretty much. So 
Oh my goodness, that's awesome. incredible! <laughs> wow. Don't um, I yeah. might have to send you some referrals. Yeah. Wow. And we actually <laughs> helped her put a new roof on our home as exactly. well. Exactly. Exactly. With the grant money. Wow. So, she got a brand new roof basically for free. Mm -hmm. That's incredible, you guys. Work it's incredible. It. I love it. I love it. The, yes, the, 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 one of the programs required the roof to be inspected, and it didn't meet par, so they had to put a new roof on it. Mm -hmm. But it was built into the house, into the uh, price. Into the, the price of the house. Yep. You, you heard it right here, right? <laughs> <laughs> Reach out to Donnell and Jordan here, you guys. If you're looking to buy a home with no down payment, looking for closing cost help, you know. Reach out to Donnell or Jordan over here. Thank you guys, everyone, for being with us. Final last words. Oh, no, hey, looking to buy a home. This is the team. Call me. <laughs> call me. I'm Donnell Spivey, broker owner of X Spivey Professional Realty, and I'd love to help you buy your next home. Thank you, guys. Stay safe, be blessed, and check them out on YouTube. See you soon on our next episode.